Hey everyone, JSD Cool here, and welcome to Capitalist Simulator 2017 Nintendo Switch Edition. Now, I I'm just about to make a ton of money here, as you will, as you will, here, see, oh, um, that may have been the wrong option. Oops, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Anyhow, I want to sell some stuff, because remember, this is Capitalist Simulator 2017. And so we're gonna go in hot, starting to sell like this stuff. And you know, um, let me just time lapse through the selling process. Remember, I have 113 shiny coins right now. Alright, everybody, so I have just sold. A lot of stuff, all of this page and all of this page, and a little bit at the bottom of this page here. And as you can see, I have three thousand four hundred and forty-three monies, which that's over three thousand monies there that I just made. Now, my original goal for right now was about three thousand, as that's what I need to currently progress in this game. <laughs> However, I still would like to show you guys how to get rich and be able to progress quickly in. Capitalist Simulator 2017 Nintendo Switch Edition. So, now the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to save. Because, well, obviously, um, I may have depleted the map a lot in my quest for this. Although, thankfully, <laughs> this game isn't so great with saving the actual state of things. So, just save state loading like this will usually refresh everything on the map. Pretty cool, right? So, once you have loaded your safe state, there's a couple things that you will need to do. Mainly, mainly you will need to start exploring the map. So, so what I first of all suggest you do is... It's important to note that you specifically, um, whenever you come across anything that you can pick up, you do. It's also important to note that there may be some guy down, standing down here that will want to fight you, so you're just going to want to sneak by him and not, and not arouse suspicion. He might not look dangerous, but trust me, he's just in disguise. He really is dangerous. Why isn't that the hard way? Alright, so what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to come here to down here to Dueling Peaks and search for this guy. He can be anywhere from the other that this side that I'm heading towards, all the way up to that bridge back there. Now we're gonna want now the guy we are searching for is my main man, Meat Man. He's this is gonna be the guy that's gonna help you get rich. And by that I mean he's just gonna sell you stuff that you can get rich off of. And I will and I, of course, as any good tutorialist will, show you how that is done. Another thing you can take into account is you can find some shiny rocks around. It does not look like the shiny rocks around here have regenerated since I last blew them up, so I can't show you that. Ah, here we are, Meat Man. How's it going, man? You're the man with the meat. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, um, you're going to say some other things about meat. Yeah, or I guess, yep, rumbling tummies, food, salt, whatever it is. Yeah, I like to buy some meat. Yeah, 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 I don't need you blabbering about where you have. Ah, here we go, his wide selection of stuff. So, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go and take all of the meat that you can from this guy. Usually, you just. Although, usually, just take the raw meat and the raw pri pri prime meat. Although, you buy this guy out of this stuff occasionally. And, of course. And, of course, because we're in the sake of this, I will. I will also do a little bit of splurging and buy some of this extra. Some of this bird meat here. Which is, of course, not the best. Not not that necessary. Now, also, you're always going to want to get all the salt you can. Because you, if you get your own meat, you're not going to be able to get as much of this salt as possible. Alright, so I've cleaned this guy out now. Now, occasionally he'll restock and he'll have um, an even better than prime meat option here. Although that is very rare and it costs over 100 monies. But... No, no, I think it's good. good Alright. But now that I got that, there's a couple other things I have to do. Mainly, I just gotta search for a whole lot of stuff, so... 
in that case, I am gonna have to go on some sort of event. I'm gonna have to go on a little bit of an adventure to collect a whole bunch of different mushrooms and other things that I can mix into this to make it more valuable. So, um, yeah, let's time lapse this, shall we? Alright then, so I have gathered a whole bunch of materials as you saw there, and now what I'm, do what I'm doing is I'm coming back here to the village where I started the episode out, and specifically over here to where I'm going to cook them, although I'm not going to cook them now, I'm going to wait till morning as I do want to get a couple more ingredients from this town that I can't get at night. Also... Something else that you can do in this game, which can be really helpful, is a few side quests. And that's e very unfortunate, because I was just about to use these fires, and now it's raining. Crap. Well, I can still go buy some things in town, I guess. Yeah, it's sad though, now it's wet. Everything's wet. I can't use the fire stuff anymore. Is there still maybe a fire over there? Oh. The guy who owns this farm isn't even here. Ah, gosh darn it. Uh, yeah, there's no fire under here, but this is still a place. Actually, no, it looks like I can cook here if I do start a fire. Okay, so I don't know how to, I did not know how to start a fire. I take um, one of you. <laughs> Put you down there. Then I switch my weapon to a metal axe. And I go. Oh. It just disintegrated. Well, I keep wasting that stuff when I try to start a fire, so. Yes, I have to wait for this stuff to end. This rain to end, so. I guess I'll just skip that. This has a roof over it. That's great! Alright everyone, so, the rain has stopped, I got some fire here, which is in this place here, it's a new place actually in this, in this town, anyhow, so now, so now let's get cooking a little bit of meat here, so, we're not gonna eat it, we're gonna hold this, gonna add some salt, more meat, and we're gonna add honey to this, and I do need that honey for that quest that I was talking about earlier, which I can go complete in a second. Uh, I have one more thing, and uh, let's go add this thing. This should make a real valuable dish here. So now we just cook it up, and I'm going to time lapse. Me. And after I, and for the rest of these, I'm just going to time lapse me making them, as it does take a little while. Energizing glazed meat. Wow, that gives a lot of energy. That'll be worth a lot. I'm just buying this guy out eventually. Eventually, I will completely buy him. Out. I feel like I might need to light this fire over here. Oh, oh, it's already lit? Huh. Oh, uh, where's the person who's supposed to be saying this? Where'd you get that easel so nice? That fire's not on here. Yeah, I don't know where these people in this village live, because there's somebody I really need to find. But I can't. I wonder why this little kid here is just... Honey! 
You see, the main reason for this is that I get something out of it. Wow! Really? Wow. This is weird. Ah. Wow, that looks like that'll actually be really valuable. Energizing honeyed apple. Alright. We alright, so that is something that we can now sell. Alright, now as promised, I'm going to go and um yeah, time lapse the creation of the rest of the stuff that we are going to be selling. And my fire went out. Yeah, isn't that great? everyone so now comes a part of the video where I gotta where I'm gonna sell this stuff now it doesn't really matter where you sell it I'm just gonna sell it here I want a sale but now you come over here and you simply sell everything that you've made so far so we get some energized please meat which just sells for 120 and get some energy no, it's honey apple, which only sells for 30, but I mean, that just cost me some honeycombs, so. I wonder what happens if you put just honey in now. Alright, we're gonna put this for 110. These things are becoming very valuable. And then, as you may have seen there in that time lapse, I did get a bunch more meat. 120, 90. Yeah, these are like high value items that I just made here. Usually, I don't make these high value items because I don't spam so much meat, but. I guess spamming meat is one way to make one item work a lot. I wonder how, also, now I should actually try this, go and make something that's just meat. I'll try that after this video, actually. Um, that seems like it might be legitimately valuable. Okay, thanks a bunch for that. And then I'll sell you this because I decided to make this at the end. <laughs> yes, and just like that, we have made a ton more money. So yeah, guys. Um... Ah. Oh yeah guys, so I'm gonna have to say uh, that's gonna be it for this episode of Capital Simulator 2017 Nintendo Switch Edition. <laughs> yeah, if you if, if you liked, please make sure to if you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe, check out the Discord. Which might or may might not be linked in the description, not sure for this channel. And anyhow, I will see you all in the next video! Yeah! <laughs>